Okay, to change the air filter on this car, obviously you need the air filter for the car and you need to know where it is located. And this on the inside, it is located underneath this cover. And to do it, all you need is a couple of fingers. Um, that's all about it. You can go fancy and use a Phillips screwdriver and undo this uh, sensor for the air over here. Or even if you don't want to go ahead and do the hard way, you can just use your two fingers and press on this one, take this one out, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Make sure you put it back in there because it's very important. I will tell you later on what this is. Uh, so you just pull and again pull and again pull. On this side, unfortunately, the whoever has owned the car before me has broken this bit. There is a part that goes in here and it like catches over it. But well, right now it doesn't have it. It doesn't affect the overall uh, performance of the car, but it's better obviously to have it. There was a reason behind it that Honda decided to design something like this. So I don't have it, but it's not the end of the world. What you gotta do, make sure that everything is separated. So give it a wiggle and it should easily come out hopefully there you go so that's out now what this is this is the airflow sensor if you look in here you will see a plate and that plate is very important in how much fuel you're going to burn inside your car basically what it does it catches the air as you're driving through this uh, intake it goes inside it will pass the air filter, it will come up and the amount of uh, particles in the uh, air that basically goes inside from here is going to go through here then it's going to pass through the filter the particles are going to catch on the other side so this is the good bit of the air filter and obviously the other side is the dirty side well, you can see that we have some debris in here so it's cut in here so what it does it catches all of that it passes the clean air and it's very crucial to get the clean air with these uh, newly made injection uh, fuel engines because uh, if for some reason this is missing there is a good chance that your engine catches fire so make sure that you always drive it with the air filter it's not a carburetor engine that can run quite safely without this one. Then it comes through this little opening in here, passes this beautiful aluminium plate, or I believe it's aluminium, and then it's gonna measure the amount of air that is gonna go through and send some signals through these wires all the way to the ECU. The brain of the car is gonna uh, decide based on the amount of oxygen or the air that it receives how much uh, fuel is gonna be pumped into that engine and the mixture of both is gonna eventually get your car running now if this is dirty the amount of air is gonna come in is not gonna be that much so eventually the computer is gonna decide not to stall give more fuel and you end up having a car richer and uh, you end up burning a lot of more fuel than what is actually needed so by changing one of these you help your economy to stabilize as well as your car and uh, once you change it and you feel like you can go one step further you can come here not with a cloth again not with a cloth with a compressed air sprayer you can blow this one and make sure that it is completely dust free and that helps your car to get a more accurate reading and eventually you're gonna go down on the amount of fuel that you're gonna burn on the car so it's very important to change this filter every so often this is still 
good to go. I mean, I live in Finland. It's it's a clean country, and the the amount of uh, measurements and the uh, things that the government is really strict on with the cars are quite high. So, I mean, it could still be driven for another year, but I decided to go ahead and change it to a new one. Now, another thing that you need to check, put them next to each other, comparison, make sure everything matches each other, on both sides, very important to check it on both sides, that side and on this side. As you can see, everything matches, looks perfectly identical. And in here, if you want, you can go ahead and give it a good wipe because this is just an intake. Nothing is going to go to your engine through this bit. But if you want, you can just give it a good wipe. So less stuff is going to get gunked up into your filter, your clean new filter. There is a groove in here and there is a groove in here. So that is going to be dropped in there. It's got a little bit of a room to play. And once you put this one in, it's got to be fit quite snugly and it's got to be fit quite nicely. Make sure you don't put too much force. If you putting too much force on it and it is just not feeling right, then you're doing something wrong. Although it's a very simple job, it is very simple to muck it up as well. So spend all the time in the world that you have to do it right. Do it once, do it right, and then you're good to go. Uh, first thing first, you got to put that bit in, slowly, gently, look on the sides. Once it is in there, you could feel it. You could see that it is snug in there. It's not going to go anywhere. That looks perfect to me. Then that one up, that one up, that one up. And if you had this one as well. Last thing is this one. Just make sure that that goes in as well. Perfect. And well done. You've just changed the air filter on your car. Now there are two filters in this car or on most of the modern cars. Some has got more than two actually. This one is for the engine. So it's gonna filter all the air that is gonna be consumed by the engine. There is another one inside the, inside the cabin and that is what's gonna uh, deodor your car. So if there's been smoke in the car, if there's been pets in the car, if there's been anything that I don't wanna name it in the car, that it gives a bad smell inside the car. There is a cabin air filter as well, uh, which uh, deals with all that sort of odor inside the car. You need to change that in every so, so often as well. If you just want your car to smell fresh and nice, uh, we're not going to do that on this video, but let me know down below in the comments if you want to learn how to change that one, at least on this car, because I can change it. Why not? And uh, I hope this has been informative to you. Make sure you recycle this stuff. Don't just throw them away into the nature. Keep the planet Earth for the generations to come. And uh, yeah, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, thank you very much for watching.